Salutations, my Fallout lovers. It is Matty here today bringing you an important Fallout 4 news update. Now, before anything, be sure to check out the link in the description of my previous video. That is a Fallout 4 discussion on whether or not 2015 is the big year for Fallout 4. So, one quick video update. Today is Monday as you're watching this video, and usually I do post-apocalyptic madness on those days, but instead I'm moving into Tuesday. So, yeah, just want to let you guys know that. Anyways, moving on to this very important news update. Now, you may remember back in April, I believe it was, there was a rumor that Bethesda had trademarked the Nuka-Cola name, or it was actually Zenimax Media to be specific, um, but they, they filed a trademark for the Nuka-Cola name to protect it, and it was for intent of use. And it was for, two of them were for computer and games, and one of them was for clothing. And so a lot of people thought that somehow, I guess somehow you can fake a patent to the U.S. Patent Office, but uh, a lot of people thought it was fake, a lot of people didn't believe it, and some people were still skeptical that it may just be there to protect past things. But now we have some evidence and actually proof that Bethesda is using the Nuka-Cola name. So let's move into this. So the link in the description to the article I discussed five months ago will still be there right now. It is to joystick.com, a reliable website as we all know. And basically they give you some extra details on everything and um, it says that the third applied to branded clothing items which is basically where this whole video has been inspired from. So I was looking at Bethesda's Twitter for a previous video, actually my last one, and um, I noticed that they had new Coca-Cola clothing. So naturally I clicked on it because I love everything Fallout. You gotta check it out, see if I wanna buy anything. And I saw all these awesome little items here. I was just like, ooh, they're all Nuka-Cola themed. I don't know which one to pick. This is awesome. Now I'm like, wait a second. I remember that they filed this Nuka-Cola trademark. And naturally, if they are using this Nuka-Cola trademark now, then I feel things are a bit suspicious as they are going to be using those other trademarks. Are they not? It would make the most sense, wouldn't it? So I felt that this is really exciting news that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, one other thing worth pointing out, and it's not really about the trademarks, is that these are pre-purchased items, like you can't, you buy them now, and then once they are all manufactured and everything, Bethesda ships them out. And the date they ship out on is the 1st of November, so that's a little bit more than a week after the predicted Great War announcement date, which is somewhat exciting because, you know, the game's announced, the hype builds up, and throughout that whole week before, uh, people are buying all these new Coca-Cola items and stuff, and then they get shipped on that date. So I think... That sounds like a sound business strategy to me. It's exciting they're using the Nuka-Cola name. I know that some people may just discard this whole video and everything I've said and just say, Maddie, they are just using the, the Nuka-Cola brand. It's their brand. But it's, it's just very suspicious that it took them five months to start using it, and the month they start using it is October, a week, almost a week before the predicted announcement date. Like, holy shit, what the fudge? Ugh. Anyways. I'm really excited, just wanted to share that with you guys, give you a quick news update. Be sure to share this with all the fault lovers as you always do. I'm very grateful that you do that. Naturally, be sure to leave your feedback in the comments down below. As always, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Other than that, my fault lovers, stay sexy, stay active, I'm really, 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 really,